hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be taking you guys for african food stuff grocery shopping so let's just go and see what we get so guys i decided not to really show um this video as proper as i would have because it's small and is usually very crowded like there was no way i would have shown everywhere like really well so i just went in tried to pick things that i was going to pick and really did not want to show around because i'll end up showing people and i do not want that so yeah so the things I picked, I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video and um, tell you guys the cost of everything. It's really fun shopping, doing African shopping. And I will not say that this is um, monthly shopping. It's, it's just shopping because some, sometimes you buy things and you end up going back to the shop like... So I just buy and and keep make sure what I need is at home. So that's it. I did not want to pick on um, ripe plantain because I don't know when I'm going to come back and they want. I just decided to pick on ripe so it can get ripe. So I picked egg, and what happened is. What happened is I got home and I just realized that these people did not pack my eggs. <laughs> so I had to pass by a normal shop and get eggs. So you can see that's okra, yam, Every, this is just rice and I got to the freezer I was looking for corn porridge pap but they did not have it so everything was just packed in one place can you guys imagine so I saw this cassava fufu which I did not need and I was just looking for for pap I did not see pap i had to imagine it's winter and you have to touch these cold things like search and search so i was also looking for um bitter leaf i had to dip my hands inside the freezer can you guys imagine it's so disorganized sometimes and really tight yeah so i took shaki um cow stomach and of course i did not show everything so dry fish guys you guys can understand why i will be very excited when i receive especially dry fish or crayfish from africa because just this tiny package if you're from cameroon it costs like four thousand this small thing that can even cook a soup so these are the things I ended up getting. I bought rice. There are actually some things that can go over one month. The yeah, it's just for the sake of having them. So that's some um, canned coconut milk and here is chicken, I got five.
granite two packets and planting and those are that's a receipt I'll be telling you guys how much everything cost I really could not um, specify each and every one of them so I'll just tell you guys the price of all so I bought a lot so I can keep for some to get ripe at home because you don't eat plantain every day so if I buy the ripe one I might not use it until it might end up getting bad so I bought a packet of Maggi beans red kidney beans this is not a paid video so i'm not promoting any um brand so i'm not promoting any brand that's why i'm just like going over it i'm not emphasizing on the brands Tomato can Milo and Nido So actually guys everything cost a hundred and fifty seven dollar and it's um ninety thousand eight hundred and eight hundred and fifty three CFA France that's Turkey two tilapia fish Kanda or Pomo or cow skin Shaki I got two packets and bitter leaf so the next thing is yam guys it's cut because sometimes when i buy yam i come home you see it in the shop is really nice in the outside but when i cut it everything is poured inside so they'll even ask you if they should cut it just to be sure i now i learned my lesson so i'm just saying that yes cut it so when i get home i just um fix it myself and put it in the freezer so yeah that's why the yam is cut So the next thing will be the egg I told you guys I forgot to buy and I just passed by the grocery shop to get it and yeah like I said everything cost a hundred and fifty three um hundred and fifty three dollar and ninety thousand eight hundred and fifty seven CFA France thank you all for watching and Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.